So it's the 27th of May, 2024. I want to take this opportunity to say happy 50th Independence Anniversary to all my family back home in Guyana, all my friends back home, also my 211 subscribers, most of whom are Guyanese. And I must say I was watching the Independence flag raising ceremony in Linden, and um, I enjoyed that program a lot. Even though I want to believe residents of Linden, a uh, certain percentage probably boycotted uh, that uh, celebration, the abolition leader was saying that his party they were they were going to boycott that event. And um, he was comparing the last couple of years where the celebration activities in Region 2, for those of you who don't know, that's in Pomeroon, Supernan, and Region 9, Upper Taco 2, the elected officials, they were allowed to participate in the planning of those events. But this year in Region 10, Linden, those elected officials were not permitted to um, participate in the planning of the events in Linden. Um, I think maybe there's an oversight on the part of the government that they should have allowed the people's elective representatives to probably um, at least share some ideas in terms of the planning. But as it is, that's what under the bridge. And um, you just look at the faces of those little kids, um, where it was the, the military, Joint displays by the joint forces, or even the the, the twenty one gun salute, the art, the fireworks. You look at the smiles on those children's faces, even after twelve, when some of them would have been in their beds. It was something to see. The children don't have time with um, politics; they just want to enjoy themselves. Um. So. Also, it's a holiday here in New York. We also have a um, mem mem um, Memorial Day that's um, honoring the dead that have fallen in different wars, whether World War II, World War I, and going right back. There's something we have over here where there's, for, for instance, Fleet Week, where the Navy, the ships sail into certain New York harbors and people can go on board and see what's going on in those ships. I was always planning to do a video of that, but the distance to where I'm living here in Queens and where you have to go to do such a video with Fleet Week, the distance is sometimes going with the, going with the train is, it takes almost two hours. So anyhow, I'm also seeing this thing about the PNC as their overseas chapter. Uh, they're having some problem with the central um, committee here in, uh, there in Guyana. I think Mr. Norton, they're saying that the, the North American chapter here in America, they can no longer act on their own. They have to take instructions from Guyana. But the North American chapter is saying that they're autonomous. They register with the federal authorities here. So we have a bit of um, in-house fighting going on. I see Ms. Amanda Nazir calling for an apology from Sherwood Law. So it seems as though we have some problems, internal battles. And you know, I guess they're gonna sort it out some or the other. I just want to come on here and do a live and say, once again, happy anniversary, 50th anniversary of the Guyana. And I get annoyed when people try to compare the United States of America which has 249, yes, you heard me, 249 years of independence from Great Britain. As comparing New York to Guyana, I hate to hear Guyanese saying, oh, New York has this camera and that camera and this and that. How can you compare 249 to 58? And I find that coming, especially from government supporters, you can't make a comparison of a first world country and a and a third world country. The United States, which is developed by immigrants, they went through a lot of the stuff the guy is going through now. 
So we should start that, that silly comparison of New York has this and New York has that. Anyhow, once again, happy 58. And I hope my Guyanese brothers and sisters, um, they, they had a good time doing what they had to do. And we, over here in New York, it's a holiday. We're going to be doing what we um, want to do to enjoy this day with this barbecuing, whatever. Anyhow, happy birthday, Guyana. For leading our resilient, diverse, and unified Guyana. His Excellency has been in the region all day, interacting with Lindeners, listening to concerns, sharing plans. He also found the time to have a cookout with his Rastafarian brothers in Victory Valley, playing dominoes, building community. We are one people, celebrating another milestone as a country. This is our National Independence Program, live from the Mackenzie Stadium in Linden. We welcome Lieutenant Colonel Athelene Branch and other members of the Barbados Legion and others who are visiting Linden for the first time. As our president just reminded us, our service men and women defend and protect us. But tonight, we will also see them showcase their versatility in a military display followed by the military band display. For our 50th independence anniversary, the troops will demonstrate the discipline and precision that drills require. Drills are an active part of training for our discipline services and are an important part of daily military routine and fitting for this occasion. We will, we will witness silent rifle and foot drills requiring discipline and focus.
members of the military band and the disciplined services and they will return for the ceremonial hoisting of the golden arrowhead closer to midnight. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we now present a grand cultural showcase featuring some of Guyana's talented creatives and look out for Jacob the Jaguar. It's going to be a spectacular celebration of our diversity and unity as we usher in our 58th independence anniversary. Let's begin with a brand new song, El Dorado's Gold by Nikita Candace Fields. <laughs> Whoa! 